Insighting. An act of breaking a once trusted member's bond, gaining and using someone to your advantage based on gender, race, etc. This is the closest definition I could find online. But if you guys have been playing Ark long enough, then you definitely know what this term means, or you've at least experienced it yourself. It's not fun, it really isn't. Especially when the person that is involved, and the people involved, are people that you thought, you know, were your friends. I'd been playing with this individual for, you know, like almost a month. And before I started playing with him, I'd been talking to him for, you know, a good amount of time and I thought he was solid. I really did. But because of some miscommunication, some non-communication from both sides, he decided to essentially just try and fuck me over. Granted it failed. Granted I picked up on it you know, while it was happening and I was, and it was able to be fixed, but, you know, he betrayed my trust. And what makes it so hard on me is that we were really cool, he seemed really cool during the time, and then all of a sudden he just snapped and then this whole shitstorm just unraveled. This is my livelihood. You're essentially trying to hurt my livelihood and trying to stop me from supporting my kid, my kid that is to come, my wife. And I don't fuck with that, bro. I really don't. So in doing this, you've lost all my trust. And I guess in this video, we're going to get into it. At first, I was really, I was calm about it. I talked to him, I said, look bro, I have no hard feelings, yada yada yada. I was really tired at the time, I didn't want any fucking drama. But, I've seen a lot of things since then, and, uh, yeah. I've kind of changed my opinion. Anyway, I'm not about this drama shit, boys, but I've had a lot of people DMing me, asking me what's going on. So in this video, we're going to be putting those questions to rest. Now before all of this happened, I was actually in discussions with three other tribes on the MTS servers about essentially consolidating the Scorched Earth base into them. This would be a win-win situation for pretty much everyone. Resource wise would be huge, like all the tribes we were joining were already established tribes and the addition of like our huge base into theirs would have just been amazing, like we would have been so fucking rich. Xero has a really bad schedule with his work. He's working full time, like three to four days a week. Like his schedule is fucked. Like he's working 15 hour shifts. Crown was playing 50-50 on small tribes and MTS servers. And then there was just me who was basically full time on ARC, maintaining a huge fuck off base. A base that's not designed for three people to live in, let alone a solo person maintaining it for, you know, majority of the week. And, you know, I was getting burnt out X0 was getting burnt out with his crazy schedule and then when he would come play Ark it was pretty much just a grind again and so like it was really hard to put out any fresh content because all of our time was pretty much basically spent on maintaining the base and just base pitching and it just it was burning everyone out so I was like fuck this I'm gonna try and find a solution for this and you know have a win-win for everyone in this situation. Like, Xero could relax more when he's off work. He doesn't need to put in as many hours when he's not working. Crown can still play six mans and the MTS server. And, you know, it wouldn't be that much of a burden on his other people because they agreed to it. That was fine. And then I could know life with two other people who are also, you know, on the same wavelength as me. But what didn't happen is that Crown wasn't filled in. I was under the impression that he knew what was going on, but I, but obviously I was wrong. And he ended up finding out about it via the stream because I was off server raiding um, a tribe called Four Blocks. Keep that tribe name in mind and uh, it'll come up later on in the story. He could have handled this so many different ways, but he chose to handle it in the most negative way and pretty much just allow himself to be manipulated and egged on by people who hated my guts and so he just tried to fuck me over in the worst way possible and that is to fuck up my livelihood which is arc like i said in the intro 
This isn't just a dino game to me. I, I love and enjoy this game as much as everyone else. But there's just that little bit extra thing there that, you know, when someone tries to fuck with me on that level, I don't care if you come and raid me or whatever. That's fine. That's fair game. But if you're trying to fuck me over in some underhanded method like that, that's just fucked up. It really is. Without getting into a tangent and getting in my fucking feelings again. That's how he that's how he handled it. We could have talked about it. He could have waited until I finished my stream and but none of that happened. And you know, I do take part responsibility for that. I really do because I should have taken his feelings more into consideration and actually, you know, talked to him about it, but it just completely slipped my mind and I have no excuse for that. It still doesn't change the fact that he tried to fuck me over and that just, you know, that just I lost all my trust for him. <laughs> I'd piss on so many people after shitting them. Right. Wait, what the fuck? So feature, but not a piss feature. Hang on, hang on. It said someone was added to the tribe. Uh, or was that you joining the tribe? What me, mate? I see headshot. You're just doing a meat run on your ass right now. Let me see if it's an admin, hold on. Yeah, it's only VLOs. <sighs> what did you get in fuck, mate? Go to your teleport and save it. It's not there. They fucking dropped it. F fly there on your snow owl and just body their ass. I can't, I can't 1v2 mate boost the gigas. It just doesn't work. Um, you, um, <laughs> your tribe killed Xanite. <laughs> if you, um, let's see. I'm more if interested in who the fuck this icy headshot is. Why is this who so is familiar? It? I've seen that. It, they're whitelisted who it is, hold on. I've seen that person somewhere. Oh, for fuck's sake. Bam. Can't stop killing my velos for one sec, I just want to check my <laughs> tribe log, for fuck's sake. Icy headshot is Drax. Oh, that's Drax. Oh. Wait. Yes. Why the fuck was he in the tribe? How the fuck? I don't know. Why? I am so You're fucking confused. In oh, oh, he said he joined a chick. He said he joined a chick who was in the tribe to who inside it. It's quite interesting though. I mean, like, he joined like, the tribe and then yeah, like this. Happened this was, was half there. an hour before the fucking rollback. Like, how the fuck would he know about the inside when I didn't even know about it? Zero will be added back. It's quite interesting though. Like, he was removed. He got added back to the tribe. He didn't leave. Then everything happened. And he was still in the tribe. Yeah, I'm Fuck sure this. I'm sure Drax would have recorded it, but yeah, he said it's just yeah. confusing. Well, like with the trust, like, Drax is trustful. He's not. Good. Now let me explain the Drax situation a little bit more and why this is important and why you guys should remember the four blocks name. Okay, so four blocks is the tribe that we're currently raiding on the center. We have a fob there while all of this inciting went down. We came over because we needed some more supplies. Drax is in that tribe. Now, the fact that he's actually left his defense to come join my tribe, force join my tribe, moments before Xero is kicked from my tribe and the inciting begins, is very, very fishy to me. Now, at the time, during the stream, I was like, nah, Drax is cool, he's straight, he wouldn't do anything sus. But as the night progresses and I start getting sent a bunch of shit, my opinion kind of changes. And keep in mind these two names, Four Blocks and Drax. Ah, Four Bobs. Now, I didn't know this at the time, but Four Bobs actually have a tribe on the Six Man servers, as well as having people play on the MTS servers. Now, if you guys have forgotten already, Four Bobs or Four Blocks are the guys that I'm currently raiding on the center server. Louis is a part of their Six Man tribe on the Six Man servers, and Drax, an admin on the MTS servers, who forced join my tribe literally moments before I got insided, is also in the four blocks tribe on the MTS server. Let that just sink in a bit. Now look at these screenshots here. Louis is having a conversation with Crown. Louis being the four bobs member and Crown being the guy that insided me, egging him on to wipe me, to inside me. It'll be worth the ban, easy views, yada, 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 and so on. Now I don't really care about this. Louis just a salty cunt. If you guys remember a few videos ago, 
I wiped his breeding pen, I meat ran all of his dinos by building into his base on extinction. He's a little bit salty because he doesn't know how to build. So just keep these names in mind. Louis, Four Bobs, Drax. <laughs> Ah, Four Bobs Part 2. So I had to make another part for these guys because they're really not the smartest people. Let's be fucking real. I mean, we got a fucking MTS admin in a chat here with people discussing how they insided me. I mean, if you're that fucking stupid, like, <laughs> I didn't even know how you can be that stupid. Like, how does it not cross your mind that someone's currently insiding someone how does it not cross your mind like, oh shit, this guy is probably going to rap me too. Which he ended up doing because I have the fucking screenshots right here. I'm going to explain it to you guys. This is a group chat of past and current MTS 4Bobs tribe members. So we got Tiger, an ex-member, Fallen Yo, current member, Erpa5. He's a ex-member, I believe. Drax is a current member. Also the admin that forced joined my tribe moments before we got insided. Then we have Crown, who insided me, and Benny, the leader of Four Bobs, also known as Serox in game. So, as you guys can see here in the chat, Crown sent me the recording. Um, what part where you dropped me the Giga? So, Crown dropped him a Giga so that he could meet run all of our dinos. This is Serox, the guy who is the leader of the tribe that we're currently raiding on center. And then we have Tiger here, the ex member. Up here, Drax has said, um, I'm no longer admin on the server or whatever. And um, down here, Drax is saying, I left for now. Very coincidentally, very timely manner, around about the exact fucking time that we get insided. And for some reason, he can still use his admin powers in game. So I don't know about that. So you can see here how Drax is literally in a chat where they're discussing how they insided me. And for some reason, he has no knowledge of what the fuck is going on. He doesn't, he doesn't tell anyone. This is an admin of the MTS servers, by the way. He doesn't let the other admin know. He doesn't let me know. This is someone I thought I was cool with, but obviously not. I guess me pulling up on him and raiding his fucking sewer rat hole made him angry or change his mind. I'm not too sure. So yeah. There you go, boys. That's a little bit more evidence. It's not damning per se, but I think the next recording will kind of change your minds if you're not on board just yet. Yeah, he's coming. They might be working now. What? My, my game might be working again. Uh, by the way, Drax. Even if they don't refund the whole base, Hamilton's probably gonna ban you, right? No. Why should you ban me? Inciting? Someone just dropped that fuck ton of stuff to him. No, no, no. The you story is... Listen, the story is... I... Someone dropped a UD with like a lot of fertilized eggs. Okay. Hello? And call it a giveaway. Um... What? <laughs> no, dude, look, listen, listen, look. I, I, I flew by, then I saw a guy in a PT, I grabbed him, he had no parachutes, I found a Giga, I saw turrets are offline, I made one. Yeah, turrets are out of shards, literally. Now this is a recording of Crown demo gunning my entire base. I did warn you guys, they aren't the smartest batch of people. Ben, They're all in voice comms you. and Crown is recording this as he's demo gunning my base. And uh, it's pretty much everyone in the last screenshot in the yeah, voice chat. It, it we got Drax, we got Benny, we got Tiger. I don't know about the other guys because I don't recognize the okay, other voices. Even if I get I banned, then the server wipes voice all the because I've been people in voice get banned, right? Before. He's the 15 year old squeaker. Then Drax is the guy Drax? with the deep voice, like, my count is working. And then Crown is obviously the Bulgarian. Yeah, he sounds like Kishko. And he's the one running around with the demo nah, demo. It's in fine. Inside mean, when it's not forever, so. Enjoy. Oh. Uh oh, I think he might be going back for pillars. Really? Mm -hmm. no, no, no bad boys. Yeah. Pillars, he has no pillars. Does he have pillars? No, he has no pillars. And it's over boys, I'm transferring over to F. Is he, is he traveling? Yeah, yeah. transfer to F and kick them. Oh, we don't have a trans here, lol. I dropped everything. Here, I'll give you 30 snow saddles. Where? Where are I'm you? I'm, I'm under your gigas. Okay. I come. Benny, did you put a bed? I dropped them. No, I didn't. Here. Okay. Do you have gilly for me? No, I Holy don't. Holy shit. F 
fuck. I don't have guild either, I'm hot as fuck. Wait, Crown, are you going to blue to transfer out or no? Hmm? Are you going to blue to transfer out since there's no transmitter? Uh, I have to, I think. Can you bring me a tame so I can go over there and help him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a, like a fly or something like that? Yeah, I'm gonna bring you some off. I'm on my way to blue. Right, I might have just fucked up all our fucking stuff. What? Apparently, um... Hmm? Okay, so, you said that if you use a transfer tool and search for like... Tech saddle or something, it'll give you crybots called that. Yeah, it doesn't, it just gives you a slot cap of crybots. Yeah, exactly. Yikes. <laughs> I thought it was like something about the inside <laughs> that you screwed it up. Drake, should we bring the stuff to the. island cave? <laughs> you guys moving to island? Yeah, we have like a. Green cave. Yeah. Uh. You guys, yeah, I guess, I mean, that spot's unreadable, like your spot. Yeah, but yeah. there's no room. No shit, you fucking saw rats. No room to breathe, you know? Like, we're still gonna keep the mid base here. Just make Yo. stuff in boxes, Jax. What? Put there's, stuff. Still, there's no room in here. Oh my fucking god, I was just taking a break from editing, and I was going through all my DMs, because my DMs are fucking swamped at the moment. Everyone's talking about the inside and shit. Drax sent me this beautiful message. Hi, dude. Just wanted to say that I hope... Sorry. There's no bad blood between us out of game because of the last few weeks or whatever. Still consider you a friend and hope you do too. You're the biggest fucking snake dog cunt I've ever fucking met. Ne dude, easy clout. Inside that one dish. Dude, if, if I upload this, I'm gonna be famous, dude. <laughs> Me telling one dish. Whole base was off. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh my god, all these Now I'm not just going to sit here and shift all the blame onto Crown. Like I said at the beginning of the episode, I definitely share my part in this by not being 100% certain that Crown knew what was going on. I just assumed that he knew. And it's just unfortunate that he took the route that he did. It was like the most fucked up one he could have. And he just lost all my trust. It just betrayed my trust. And great, there's a siren going on behind me, but I'm going to continue. And, uh, you know... It's just really unfortunate, man, because not only did I lose someone that I enjoy playing with, it was someone that I considered a friend, and, you know, Drax, the admin, I was cool with him too, we talked a lot, um, not as much as I did with Crowned, I played a lot more with Crowned, we had a lot of banner, fucking, we had heaps of fun, and then this shit happens, like, I just, it just fucking blows my mind how snaky people in the R community can be, it really, like, I had... All of our best interests at heart, me, Xero, and Crowned, I had set up homes for all three of us, and it was going to be great. We're going to we're going to split all the loot from both of our bases and take it all over to the three tribes who were joining, and it was going to be great. Like, I don't know. I don't fucking know, boys. And when it comes to the admin thing, I've always been a believer, and I've always said, do not, if you want to have a successful server, do not have player admins. It just does not fucking work. You know, all of these guys come over from official, come over from their other dedicated servers to MTS because, let's be fucking honest, MTS is hands down the best servers at the moment. They really are. But all this shit that just happened in this video, this shit happens on the fucking regular on official and it's slowly seeping its way over here to MTS where all of everyone here has come to MDS as a safe haven. I've got nothing against Hamilton. I think he's a stand-up guy. I fucking, like, I have mad respect for him. He's made this hugely successful server with, you know, like over 10,000 members in the Discord. It's absolutely insane. It's just these fucking things. Like, I know it's hard to incentivize non-player admins. The only way you can really do that is by paying them, but it needs to be done. Anyway, I don't want to get into that. That's a whole different beast to tackle in a whole different video. 
I just wanted to answer everyone's questions because my DM's been blowing the fuck up about this whole inside incident. That and Adam fucking meat running our gigas in uh, my new base, but <laughs> that's for a different one. I don't know. Maybe I'm biased. Maybe this doesn't add up to you guys. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that's just, that's how it went down, boys. <sighs> anyway, hopefully there's no more fucking drama I need to make a video on. Hopefully this is the last. I I really don't enjoy being in a part of drama. I'd like, <laughs> this, this might sound a bit fucked up. I like watching drama. I like hearing about it. I don't like to be involved in it. So hopefully this is the last piece of drama I'm involved in. I try to make this as entertaining as possible. I hope it was. I hope you guys can understand. If I don't upload um, in the next couple of days or why I haven't been uploading and I've just been streaming. All my links are in the description below. You can come follow my stream. I've been streaming quite regularly recently. Um, and yeah, as always, fuck situation, but stay fucking awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.